It is the 20th day of March 2014. Good evening from the Standard Group Centre. This is Katie and Frank. Yes, thank you for joining us. Our sign language interpreter this evening is William Silla. It's been a busy news day and we begin tonight in Mombasa, where the six pipe bombs recovered from a stolen vehicle were destroyed this afternoon. The explosion ripped through the ground, causing a massive crater that was immediately filled with water. Police have since established that the content of the pipe bombs was TNT and that the exact total weight was 173 kilograms. Here now is the latest with our senior course reporter, Ferdinand Amoni. A convoy of the Kenya Police Units, the Kenya Navy, the National Intelligence Service, FBI's Special Agent Bomb Technicians, City Inspectorate, County Administration, firefighters and journalists spread out from the regional police headquarters and powered its way through the streets of Mombasa, destination the outskirts of Kilifi County to destroy six cylinders of powerful explosives far away from human beings for whom they were meant. We have arrived at what I like to call the final destination, at least for the bombs. The experts have chosen the area beyond these gates, a quarry where they feel is the best site to dispose of the bombs. There was a minor hitch at the gates of the Bamburi quarry. However, the security officers there claimed they had received no such authorization to let the security agents in. Senior Navy officers were in no mood to haggle. They demanded for the keys, open the gates, and let in the deadly arsenal. Downhill, the specialists went, while the rest of the masses took a safe vantage point a few hundred meters away. When all was set, all phones were ordered switched off, and then... It was a blast that was reportedly heard as far as seven kilometers away. It left behind a crater 15 feet wide and six feet deep, and water had surfaced from underground. Tutauliza specialist engineer wa maji, wa tuanema, waje wa safisha kisima, kianze kutumika kwa wananchi. Sindio? <laughs> Bomb experts established that the content of the cylinders was the powerful TNT explosive, similar to what was used in the 1998 bombing of the U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, which claimed well over 200 lives. The total weight was in fact 173 kilograms and not 60 as police had earlier indicated. The largest cylinder, which was retrieved last from the car's dashboard, weighed 51 kilograms. Kama haya mabomu ya ngeachiriwa ya lipuke kwa mikono ya wanainchi, nafikiri sasa hivi tungekua tunaongelea mambo tafauti. Key installations in the county are now on high alert. Marwa denied that there could be more truck bombs in Mombasa as claimed by a section of Kenyan media. He however revealed that four suspects are in police custody and that further investigations are still underway. Security has also been tightened and the administration is set to conduct a major operation in Mombasa and Mtuapa to flush out suspected criminal cells. A massive operation in Mtuapa. Kwa sababu wakora wote wa metorokea wapi? Mtuapa. Wote. Na tutawaswaga wote. Other items found in the car, including the six grenades, AK-47 rifle, and ammunition were spared for further analysis, as was the Toyota Surf in which the explosives were found. Kuna officers who are working on the vehicle. Tutaskin hiyo gari mpaka kila pati hiwe kando. We are not taking chances. For many people present, this was by far the loudest explosion they had ever heard. And the crater created here gives a demonstration as to what might have been if the terrorists had had their way. And as the county commissioner rightly put it, this is a day to give thanks all round. Ferdinand Omondi, KTN, Kalamai, Kilifi.